Anything new? Ah, oh, no, same as yesterday. And the day before. Come, let's get out of here. That was a waste of time. Oh, maybe later. Well, who wants to work anyway? Yeah, I'm too busy trying to spend me dole check as it is. What are you guys gonna do now? Just muck around. I don't know whether to polish me Rolls Royce or take it for a drag, you know. You'll have to make it first, Joan. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's steal some wheels. Oh, get away. You couldn't steal free samples. No. Well, I've got enough for a couple of thick shakes. Oh, last the big spenders. <laughs> And you can make a fair bit. Oh, picking up naughty records. My brother met a bloke at the pub. I heard you work all day for next to nothing. And what you do when they grab back for your tucker? Ah, uh, grape picking's better. It's hard, but there's good money in it. Yeah, but it isn't the season yet. I'm going to try and get a job down at your disco. What, your disco? In St Kilda. They need waitresses. You didn't tell me. I was going to check it out. What's going to check out? It'll just be some creep in some dive off of your water one. <laughs> How would you know? Oh, we all know. What about the last guy? Yeah, but he was a crook. Oh, they're all crooks down there. It wouldn't do any harm to have a look. Better than standing around here doing nothing well, anyway. Doesn't that depend on what he's going to ask you to do? I look after <laughs> myself. Go. Oh, good day, everybody. Oh, Hi there. No. Any luck this morning? Lots of it. Bad moments. Oh, well, can't go on forever. I wouldn't be honest. Uh, any of you guys want to come down to the ashram for lunch? <laughs> We're going to have a lecture, which could be interesting. No, I'm going to try some factory. No, I can't. So that he can hack all that is than garbage. Of course you don't know. You haven't tried it. I'm chanting and tying your legs together and sitting on the floor. <laughs> and you have to pay him into the bargain. Yeah, Look, yeah, I used to think like that, too. Why don't you guys come down to the ashram and... Check out all the good things. Come on. Yeah, look, we'll yeah, just we'll see, see you around. guys. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, tell me father's a cock. I haven't got a father. Tell him you are. Oh. Yeah. Bye. Oh, good day, Ann. Oh, Wes Collin. Said he's got some business. Five-finger discount. No, he's raving about doing a wine shop. A wine shop? Yeah. Robbing us? Well, he's not going to buy it, is he? He's crazy. Yeah, that's what I told him. Jeez, they're like alarms and stuff. Oh, I got some new comics. Jeez. Number of adverts they put in them, it's hardly worth nicking. Yeah, hey, bad as the commercials on telly. What are you wagging today? History. What do you have to do that for? Oh, I've got exams and stuff. You'll learn it. What's the use of exams? I passed on mine and all I got was a doll. G'day, Dodsy. Got a mo? Oh, maybe. You two paralysed or something? You don't get any better, do you, Emray? Doing anything? Not much. I mean, do you want to be in on something? A job, you mean? A nice, fat, easy one. A wine shop run by some old codger. I told you, Colin, I'm out of that. This one's a breeze. We'll be in and out of there in no I'm time. I'm going straight, and that's that. What a waste of talent. You were the best life picker in Taramant. Yeah, well, that was Taramant. So you're turning into a goody two shoes. You like want anything to take it, Connor? Want anything? What from this loony bin? Yeah, well, look, if that's the way you feel about it, why don't you do us all a favour and stay right away from here? Do myself a favour, you mean? So much scummer, Andy, I might get dirty. So long, sucker. Yes, I will. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. Goodbye. That was Mr. Barlow. Ian skipped his afternoon classes again. What the hell's got into him lately? I'm getting really worried about him, Chris. It's not just the wagging, either. What's he disappeared to after school, you know? Well, I asked him that yesterday. He told me some story about going round to a mate's place to do homework. He was lying, I could tell. Well, I'll say he was. Barlow's been complaining he hasn't had his homework for weeks. I found another four bars of chocolate in his bag this morning. He's always got chocolate. Where's it come from? Said he bought it. Where would you get the money? We're going to have to have it out with him, that's for sure. Oh, Hi, how did yeah. you go? 
Well, maybe tomorrow, eh? Yeah, maybe tomorrow. Well, look, our union's still lobbying the government to increase her apprenticeship scheme, you know? What'd they say? Oh, I'll look at it again next oh, year. Oh, yeah. Hi, Zed. Hi. How'd you go? Oh, you were right and I was wrong. Creep, was he? They don't come any creepier. What was this? Oh, nothing important. Uh, does it float? Oh, bound to. Where'd it come from? Someone donated it. They were chucking it out. Don't blame them. Oh, all it needs is a coat of paint. Oh, yeah, and the rest. Two coats of paint, then. Is it dead? Sure looks it. I can do it up no sweat. Did you hear that new girl's arriving tomorrow? Who? The Chinese girl. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Wonder what she'll be like. Hey, Dodsey, how much money have you got? I'm skint, why? Well, there's a disco down the trade hall tomorrow night. Three bucks to get in. Each? Yeah. Tree mon. Well, if you really want to go, I can give nah, you the money. Nah, it's OK. We'll go when we've got some money of our own. Okay. Here's a matter of our last. Good evening. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Got some good news for you, Dodsey. Oh, about time. Simon Tracer, the youth officer on the council, needs a couple of labourers. They've uh, got a property they have to clean up. Oh, I'll be in that. Yeah, there's not a great deal of money to space around, but it's better than nothing, eh? Anything's better than a doll. OK, I'll go over to Rushmore and see if Oscar right. wants a job. Well, what about me? What about you? Well, I'll do it. Uh, well, they say they need labourers. Oh, what can they do? I can't. I can work as hard as this layabout. He said maybe Simon was asking for men. He couldn't have. You're not allowed to. She's right, you know. OK, Zed, you've got yourself a job. But I'll tell you what, I'll get Simon to send you home if the work's too heavy for you. How come she always gets her own way? Talent. Just talent. Get off. <laughs> Oh, by the way, uh, Lee Wong will be arriving tomorrow morning. The hostel will be in the road first thing. Fine. Okay? Yeah. Oh. Hello. Where have you been, mate? Nowhere. How much do you reckon? Oh, 150 at least, I reckon. What, clear? Nah, not clear. Hey, what's that? Quick, get help. Hey, Chris! There's a fire! Come on, you kids, we'll get close, mate. Oh, Chris, there's a fire all around the corner. <laughs> what happened? I don't know, we just saw some light. Come on, you fish, get back. Come on. Well, you got any ideas? No, not really. Deliberately written. Well, I can't imagine how else it would have started. I've given up smoking. I think it was one of the kids here. I don't think it's anyone who's here at the moment. Maybe somebody who passed through. Gives you a bit of a cold feeling, Ash. Yeah. yeah. Still, the poor so-and-so who did it must have had a pretty lousy time here. Yeah? Then what happened? Oh, and then every, then just then you went out of the classroom and everyone was laughing. It was so oh. much. Hello. <laughs> Bonnie, this is Lee. Oh, hi. G'day. You'll be sharing a bedroom with Lou. No, that's Bonnie. This is Lou. <laughs> Well, these two have to go off to school now. Oh, oh there's, there's no, no hurry. Move. You'll be seeing them this afternoon. OK, you two. Skedaddle. Oh, I'll see you later. See you later. Oh, doesn't say much, does she? You must be Dodsey. Hi, Mr. Tracer. And it's Simon. How are you, Zena? Fine, thanks. And it's Zed. Everybody calls us Zed. Oh. <laughs> now, look, uh, I don't know how much Mr. Manda has told you, but there's 20 hectares here from the river to the tree line over there. It's all pretty run down, as you can see. So what I want you to do is clean up the mess a bit. Oh, and there are some animals which need to be looked after. You have much experience with animals? Oh, not much. I stayed on my cousin's farm once. Well, it's a start, anyway. I'll show you somewhere where the rain doesn't get in. Much, anyway. And you can make that your headquarters. OK, then. Great. Right. 
And this is where old Harry used to have his smoke out. Well, the roof's fairly OK. Sit down a moment. I'll lock a box. Could it be this one? Old timer called Harry Levy. Bought the property for next to nothing back in the Depression and lived here till now. <laughs> Wanted to be a farmer, but he could never bring himself to send his animals off to the abattoir. And the council bought it? No, he left it to us on the condition that we turn it into a recreation ground for kids, as well as look after the animals. Well, I'd like to turn it into a farm in the city for kids sort of thing. Gee, he sounds like a nice old guy. Yeah, the trouble is some of the council would rather sell it. How can they? Didn't he make a will? Yeah, and that's the trouble. He made it. Well, the council have got a lawyer who can make it say anything they want it to. They wouldn't get away with it. Well, if people know about it and are using it, you're right. Now, that's where you come in. Now, look, what I want you to do is start working on it as soon as you can so that we can get schools and other groups using it. The council wouldn't dare sell it then. Think you can manage that? You bet. Just watch us. Oh, uh, you said hello to Matilda, yeah? Who? Matilda. Nice old girl. In there. See ya. Bye. See ya. Who's Matilda? Matilda. Who else? Hey, <laughs> old girl. You look yummy. You'll be going to school tomorrow with Ronnie and Lou. You'll be in Lou's class, actually. Did you get on well at the Jennings Street School? Yes, OK. Not so well for English, but all the rest OK. Oh, your English is very good. You speak it better than some of the larrikins here. <laughs> How come you went down at the shack? I couldn't make it. Why not? Well, I promised Mum and Dad I wouldn't skip any more classes. Well, who's a good little boy, then? If I tell you to do something, you do it. Got it? Yeah. So you be there tomorrow morning, OK? OK. Good. Hey, did you like the new central heating system I put in Manda's office last night? <laughs> See you tomorrow. There's a horse and goats, ducks, gooses. Oh, geez. A few of those, too. It's pretty run down, so I need a fair bit of hard yakka. Yeah, and there's this old stable with a sweet old horse in it called Matilda. Ah, I knew your luck had to change sometime. <laughs> what do the animals eat? Oh, Simon's had to buy some stuff in the meantime, but we'll be bludging scraps from restaurants. Oh, good. Hey, don't bakeries chuck out their stale bread? Yeah. Hey, maybe we can get some of that. Yeah. Hello, Ian. Is that school OK? Fine. I can't work out how I've never noticed this. Place. Oh, it's pretty easy to miss. When you go to the Benton Street Bridge, you've got to look straight back. Yeah, it's sort of tucked away. Yeah, its actual name is Billabong Flats. What's that about Billabong Flats? It's their new job. They're cleaning up an old property. It's got to be a sort of kids' farm and playground. All of it? Oh, as far as I know. Why? I was just wondering. Oh, that's all. Yeah, yeah, you better watch out for old Thompson. She hates you during class. She catches you going to pick up papers for a week. And then there's the deputy principal. Oh, he is mad. He's always strapping the boys. How come the 
time I have to get the wood all the time? Oh, you make lousy tea, that's oh, all. Any excuse, huh? There you go. Today I reckon we should have a good look around, see what else has to be done. Mm, have you seen that old shack up in the hills? Yeah, uh, we'll check it out. Do you want some tea? Yeah, I'd love some. English? That's not English. Nah, not can be any language. Maybe it was a Chinese note. <laughs> <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hey, does the world slope sideways when you've got eyes like that? Oh, uh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you scram, creeps? What's it to you? She's my friend, Shorty. So nick off and take your crummy mates with you. Come on, Campbell. She's loony. She's not all there. Got a screw loose. Yeah, like all the other home kids. My mum says you ought to be put away. Come on. Come over the canteen. Bonnie's just bought some chips. Oh, good day, Anne. Well, where's Colin? Five-finger discount. Do you know the council have taken over this place? Hey. They're going to turn it into a playground or something. Oh, we'll be all right here. It's miles oh, away from the road. But they're sure to find this place sooner or later. And Zed and Dodsey have already started cleaning it up already. Dodsey? Oh, well, that's all right. Him and Colin mates in Taramac. Dodsey's changed since then. Colin hasn't. Oh, but what are we going to do with all this stuff? You better ask Colin. He's hot and mad at you. What have I done? It's what you haven't done. He says you've got to start doing your fair share of nicking. All that'll have to be slashed. Hasn't been touched for years. What do you reckon? Dunno. Doesn't look like it's used much. Wanna check it out? Yeah, why not? Ian! What the hell's going on here? It's none of your business. Yeah, that's right. Haven't I seen you on the CS? Yes, so? This is nothing to do with Look, you. I don't know what's going on here. I don't really want to, but that stuff's got to go. And what's wrong with it? It's hot. That's what's wrong with it. Says who? Oh, we bought that stuff. Listen, you're talking to an expert. I can smell stolen goods a mile off. And while I'm looking after the place, I don't want that stuff here, OK? Well, we don't have to do what you say. You don't have to, but you'd better. You're going to dob me into my dad. Look, I won't dob. Just get that stuff out of here, OK? Hand us another bit, will ya? You know... Don't take any notice of those glass at school. They're bulk dumb. Cut it out, Dodsey. You'll put Matilda off her tucker. Hey, Dod. You sound as though you're in pain. Maybe you soon will be. What's on your mind, Imre? Your mates here tell me you don't like the way we do our shopping. Should have guessed you had something to do with this. You got mighty nosy all of a sudden, Dodds. Look, just put the ladder back up here and scram, OK? I like the ladder where it is. Listen, this is the first job I've had since I left school, and I reckon it'll be the last for a while. So if you do anything to muck it up, I'm going to rearrange your face. You know something I really hate? That's an old Taramat kid freezing on his mates. Tough. Just get that stuff off Billabong, OK? You gonna make me? If I have to. Come on, these guys. Something stinks around here. Well, that looks terrific. But listen, I think you better get Chris to check it out before it goes anywhere near the water. Not a crack anywhere, Mr. Manda. You put to sea in a sieve, Lou. Just a moment, will you? Well, who's got soccer ball in? Yeah. Hello. I don't know you. I uh, know. I just came to see a few of my friends. Yeah, well, in future, you better check that's OK with me first. What's your name? John Hyde. You do understand, John, this is private property. You're not allowed to come here until you've checked the central office. Sure. What's in your bag? Just some leaflets. Well, could I see one? <sighs> You're one of the Blossom people. Yeah. Yeah, well, look, uh, no hard feelings, John, but I don't want to see you on this campus again. But these kids need something... I know what these kids need, and it's not Eastern mysticism. Are you afraid of the truth? Yeah, I'm afraid of your truth. OK? 
Yeah, he's a bit late. They're gone! Look at that two-chat scab of listen is not gonna forget. Why don't you just dirty the place up a bit? Nah, that dog needs to be punished. Good and proper. Don't just stand there, go and do inside. He goes a bit crazy, don't you reckon? I don't like dogs all that much. But we shouldn't wreck the whole place. Yeah, but Colin will go if we don't. Yeah. We've tidied it up pretty well. Seems a pity. Yeah, come on. Come on, pansies, put some muscle into it. Get the way. Hey, this stuff will burn pretty good. 